All right, so can you solve this SAT math problem? So, as always, try and solve it by yourself, and yeah, let's get right into it. So it says, the equation above is true for all values of x that is greater than 2, where r and t are also positive constants. What is the value of r times t? Okay, so this is a rational uh, equation, and so we want to get rid of the denominator, right? So we, if we're trying to find a way to get rid of the denominator, we need to find a common denominator. So here it is pretty obvious because on the right side we have x minus 2 times x plus 5. Whereas each of these standalone variables are missing one part of that, right? x minus 2, we can add a x plus 5 to that. And x plus 5, we can add a x minus 2 to that. So I'll show you how it works. So for this one, 2 over x minus 2, if we multiply this by x plus 5 over x plus 5, we get the following. We get 2 times x plus 5, oops, x plus 5 over x minus 2 times x plus 5. So whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator because x plus 5 over x plus 5 is 1. So in reality, we're not doing anything to it, but we're just giving it the same denominator so we can cancel it all out at the end. So the same thing is going to happen to the second term. So we have 3, and the common denominator here that we want to add is x minus 2. So 3 times x minus 2, be like that. And then we would have x minus 2 times x plus 5, and boom. And this is going to equal rx plus t. And because we already have this here, they, they list us, they give this to us. So this is all going to be the same, x minus 2 um, times x plus 5 as the common denominator. And so what we can do is just get rid of it. So all this at the bottom dies. And so now we're left with the following on top, 2 times x plus 5 plus 3 times x, x minus 2 equals rx plus t. So now we want to distribute this out. So 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times 5 is 10, and then we add 3 times x, so 3x, and then 3 times negative 2, so negative 6, equals rxt. And this simplifies further, and it's actually kind of cool what happens. So we have 2x plus 5x, we're just combining like terms, and then 10 minus 6 is plus 4. So we look at this, what you'll find is that on the left side, we have a x term and a constant, right? And the right side, we also have an x term, rx, and a constant t. So in our case, for r, we can just substitute in 5, right? So if r is 5, we get 5x, and if t is 4, we get 4. And that's kind of funny, because left side, 5x plus 4, right side, 5x plus 4, those two are equivalent, and so we know r is 5, and t is 4. And so if they want us to find the value of r times t, 5 times 4 is positive 20, and so our answer is c.